Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys lip and regular swatches of the Bloom Collection by Maybelline. I didn't know if, there, if it was their intention to make this collection a spring collection, um, but that's what just what it feels like to me. That's why I picked it up. So before I do these swatches, I'm going to review the products really quickly and the packaging and all that good stuff. And then we'll get to the swatches. If you guys don't want to listen to the review, you can go ahead and skip ahead. I actually really like the packaging. I don't know if they intended to, again, to make this for spring, but this is a perfect color for the cap. And I also love these silver rest of the packaging. Now actually talking about the product, I did test it out and the longevity was about two hours before it was already fading and I had to do a reapplication. But I honestly don't mind that because these lipsticks are really smooth and creamy. In order to get the color as close as you want it to the one that's actually on or in the tube, you would have to swipe it about five times maybe. Yeah, to get it to the darkness of the actual product in the tube. So as you guys saw there, it's a little sheer in the beginning. I really like the shades that they chose for the Bloom collection. I think of spring when I look at all these shades. As you guys are gonna see, the one that I'm wearing on my lips is my favorite one. I do have three top lipsticks that I would definitely recommend for spring, but I do think these are all nice for springtime. That's pretty much all my thoughts for the Maybelline Bloom collection. If you guys have any questions, just make sure to leave that down below, but let's get to the lip and regular swatches. The first lipstick out of this collection is Fairly Bloomed and this one is the nude of the whole bunch. I don't know, I'm not sure if this is gonna look good on everyone. For me, it looks just a little bit too, too nude. It has a hint of pink in it, so it's like a little pinky nude, but for at least my taste, this doesn't look good on my skin tone. The next one is Blushing Bud and this one is a pinky rose color. It looks a little bit more darker and more rosy on the actual sticker in the tube, but when you swatch it on your lips or you put them on your lips, it comes off a little bit more pink and a little bit more lighter. This is one of the lipsticks that I would feel more comfortable wearing. The third one is called Petal Pink, and this one is a really light, almost Barbie pink lipstick shade. This one is one of my top favorites for one to wear during spring, definitely. Next one is Hibiscus Pop, and I think this one is pretty much the same thing as Petal Pink, just a little bit darker. The fifth one has to be my favorite one. This is Power Peony, and I absolutely love this one. It is super unique, at least from what I've been wearing on my lips. This is a pink lipstick with a slight purple tone to it. I love it because it's not, you know, that full-on purple. This one is going to be the second one that I recommend for springtime. The next shade is Lilac Flush and this one is a purpley lilac lavender shade of lipstick and this one is for girls that are edgy. This one isn't one of my top recommendations for spring, only for those girls that are brave enough to wear this beautiful lavender lipstick. We have four more lipsticks left and the fourth to last one is Orchid Ecstasy. I think this lipstick is perfect for girls that are a little bit more darker in skin tone than me. I think they would look so beautiful with it. Right after Orchid Ecstasy is Rose Rush and if you guys haven't seen my Rimmel lip velvet video. I'm going to put a link to that down below so you guys can go check that out. In the collection, there's Orange Ology, and I loved that shade. Just like Rose Rush, it's a orangey red lipstick. It's more of an orange side. The second to last one is called Coral Burst, and this is a super bright coral. Last but not least is Peach Poppy, and this is a really light, really bright peach shade. This is more on the pastel side, so I think it's just a little bit too light for my liking, but it would look extra well, I think, on girls who are a little bit lighter than me. So the top three ones that I do recommend are 
Petal Pink, Power Peony, and Rose Rush. So that is pretty much it for my lip swatches and my other swatches and my review. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And don't forget to thumbs up this video if you liked it. Also, leave a comment down below if you think that there's anything that I could improve on in videos like this or in anything in any video in general. If there's anything that I could improve, I really think that constructive criticism is really, really helpful. And if I could do anything to improve for you guys, that would be great. Great? Okay. Thank you guys a million times for watching, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. In my Rimmel Lip Velvet. <clears throat> Just to show you guys, this is my new hat that my little brother made me. Um, if you guys not want to know where you get it at, you can't get it because I'm the only one that has this. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, even though I can see you in the background. I was going to tell my sister that I would, it would be so hilarious, so funny to see Miranda Sings do lip swatches. <laughs> that would be so funny. Like, this is the next shade. Oh my god. She was supposed to laugh, so then we could all, we could laugh together. <laughs> and then and it failed. you guys could laugh. <laughs> should do that. We could tell her, well, you should do a lip swatch video. Go to one of her videos and tell her that I sent you there asking for a lip swatch video.